Hey guys, welcome back to another update video. It's been a while since I've really had anything to show. And a lot of the things I have to show today have been shown before on YouTube over the last few weeks or so. I'm finally kind of getting caught back up here and I got a couple pickups from Scream Factory. I got some stuff from Cold Red. I got a nice trade package um, that I'm going to show you guys from Blu-ray Lantern. I got some stuff from Arrow. Um, I got a signed limited edition item. I got some steel books and I have a DVD documentary that I'll show last in case you guys are interested in that. I, it's something totally different um, that I've shown on my channel before but it's something that I have a lot of passion for but like I said we'll wait for the end for that. Um, the first one here is Jeepers Creepers the collector's edition with a nice slip and these are beautiful editions. I had to grab these they're a little pricey. Scream Factory is uh, starting to ask a lot of money for their releases and I'm only going to start picking up certain ones. I'm not going to go for the whole line like I used to try to do in the beginning. I've fallen so far behind that I'm not even going to try to catch up. I'm only going to try to get the ones that I really enjoy. The collector's editions with the slip covers and stuff like that. And if I can find some sales and maybe Black Friday deals that they have. But as far as uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses on all these titles here for Scream Factory, you guys can you guys can have it. I'm all done. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with Scream Factory. But um, I had to grab these. These are really, really nice editions here. I did not check out Jeepers Creepers just yet. But the next title that I'm going to show you guys, Jeepers Creepers 2, I popped that in uh, last weekend and I thought it was really good. I had seen it before, but I, I thought it looked really good on Blu-ray. The, um, the opening scene on Jeepers Creepers 2 with that cornfield, I thought that was a little bit... Uh, the picture quality did not look good, but shortly after that it picked back up. And um, Here you can see the really nice disc art. You have the feature film and commentaries on disc 1 and then on disc 2. You have the special features. They're both Blu-rays, which I gotta like that about Scream Factory. So that could be one of the reasons for the high price. I think I paid $52 for both of these titles from Scream Factory, which is a little bit, uh, that's pretty expensive, 26 bucks a piece. So, but I'm not gonna complain about it. You know, we're collectors and we get the, the stuff that we like. So this is the one I watched last weekend and I, I happen to like Jeepers Creepers 1 a little bit better than this one but it had been a while since I've seen this one so I wanted to pop it in and check it out it's still a very solid movie I loved it there's the two blu-rays again you got uh, disc 1 has the feature film and commentaries and disc 2 has the special features and I like that they have individual art on the discs there you can see the original cover for Jeepers Creepers 2. And these slip covers are pretty awesome. I mean, you can't really beat that. So I'm not going to go over all the special features, but you can see that Disc 2 has a ton of stuff on there. And I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, people have covered this quite a bit already on YouTube, so you guys probably have seen this a hundred times already, so I'm just going to keep moving on. The next little pile I got here is from Code Red. I do have some more Code Red coming in the mail, but these are the latest releases from one wave ago. There's actually two newer releases since I got these three that I'm going to show you. I have not picked them all up, the second wave of newest releases, but I'm going to slowly but surely grab those. They're, these are pretty expensive too. And uh, this is The Forest. Uh, this is a double dip for me. I do have the Code Red DVD. And this is another one of these low buck backwoods. It's not really a slasher film. It's more of a psychological thriller. There's some, uh, what do you want to call it? Like paranormal activity that goes on in the film. There's cannibalism. And there is there are some slasher elements that you'll see. Uh, happen to really enjoy this movie. I, I like the, the backwoods horror films. And... Uh, Although this did not get good marks on YouTube or from critics, I happen to enjoy it. I have it in my player still, and it doesn't come with any interior art or anything. But the transfer does look really good. There is a featurette on here that I watched before I watched the film, and it has uh, it's an interview with the director, Don Jones, and the music composer guy for the film, Stuart. 
Abjordanson. Uh, and then it, there's also a segment with Gary Kent, who plays the cannibalistic killer in the film. And uh, I thought he was probably the bright spot of the film. His acting was superb, I thought. Uh, especially for a low buck operation like this. I mean, his, his acting stands out. And uh, although this did get, you know, bad scores, I, I still do really enjoy this film. And this is region free for those of you overseas who want to grab this one. Rated R. And this is uh, from 1980. And in the featurette, the director, Don Jones, talks about how he was trying to make a a movie that went direct to video and it ended up getting picked up and played at some theaters and it played at some drive-ins and he talked about the nightmare it was to raise funds for the film he had to take a second mortgage out on his house and he had a guy that was supposed to be backing him who promised him X amount of money and didn't come through at the end and the dude ended up losing his house over this film and he said in the interview he said it was not worth it he said the end result for the film was not worth losing his house uh, I feel bad for him about that but um, you know he gives a lot of information and then the featurette is is uh, just as entertaining as the movie to me was so I recommend grabbing this one to all you guys out there maybe it, it, a lot of you guys picked it up and probably didn't watch it maybe it's still sealed on your shelf but pop this one in and check it out that's the forest that's a must own, I think. The next one here is the Black Gestapo, you know, black exploitation film. I have not seen this one yet. This one's still sealed. This is going to go on my to watch pile, but it's going to be, to be honest with you guys, it's going to be pretty low. Um, there's a lot of stuff I got to watch before this one, uh, but I wanted to pick it up because you never really know which Code Red titles are going to sell out. All of them are limited, so you just never know. So I wanted to go ahead and grab this while I could, and it's still available on the Code Red DVD website. If anybody knows about the Black Gestapo, or if anybody has watched it, please comment below, let me know what I'm in for. Uh, here's another one. This one was released on DVD. I never owned this film on any format. This is the first time I'm grabbing it. I have never seen the film before, but I know that the DVD from Code Red was out of print for a long time, and it was going for some crazy money. So when this came out on Blu-ray, I thought I had to go ahead and grab it. I um, wanted to add it into collection one way or another. Might as well get it on Blu-ray. This is region free. Movie came out in 1974. It's all region. And like I said, I haven't seen it, so I can't really even comment about it. But it says it's also known as Horrible House on the Hill. So I think it's kind of like a home invasion type film. Um, five children crawl from a wreckage of a deadly van accident in a snowy canyon. And I'm not going to read the whole back, but if anybody wants to comment below on this film, please feel free to do so. Uh, the next two grabs I got were part of a trade package that I got from my buddy Blu-ray Lantern, who is Ryan. And I showed these off a couple, couple nights ago. I think I did a video. But I wanted to kind of open these up and show a little more about them to you guys. And again, thank you, Ryan, for the trade. And this first one here is called Coming At Ya, and it's a Western film. I'm not sure if it's Spaghetti Western or not. We'll find out here in a second. I did see some reviews on YouTube about this one, and I've heard nothing but positive things, really. I mean, um, I'm looking forward to checking it out. And this is a 3D and 2D version of the film. And it looks like it, it is a Spaghetti Western. It says, directed by Spaghetti Western pioneer um, Ferdinando Baldi who did Blind Man, Django, and Prepare a Coffin. And it also has a spaghetti western screen legend, Tony Anthony, who was in A Man, A Horse, A Gun, and The Silent Stranger. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And this one came out from MVD Visual, and it almost kind of reminds me of a Code Red title. But I like the way that cover looks, and let's see if... Uh, it says what year the movie came out. In 1980? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't want to spend too much time looking for the date. I'm going to keep moving for you guys here. And the second one that uh, Blu-ray Lantern sent me was Gods of Egypt. And this is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And we're going to open it up and take a look. And it looks like... I don't want 
gonna wreck the J card. I know some of you guys throw J cards away, some of you guys keep them. To each their own, I say, but I like to keep all the stuff that comes with my steel books, digi books, you know, box sets, all that stuff. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer, it's it's just you know what you prefer. And I happen to prefer to keep all the stuff, so look at that. That is something else right there. This might be one of the best looking steel books I've seen. And I kind of, when I went through the trade package, I kind of, I think I didn't really give this enough attention. But that's why I wanted to open it up here and show you guys. I think this one recently came out, like within the last week or two. And Ryan was nice enough to um, grab me one. So very thankful for that. I appreciate that, Ryan. There's the. I forgot what they call that, the uh, Egyptian eye, the all-seeing eye. I'm not going to give away the digital code just yet. There's um, one of my family members I'm going to ask first, and if they don't want it, I'll probably offer it up on Facebook. So there's the 3D Blu-ray. And we're going to pop these out so you guys can see the inside artwork. There's Gerard Butler. Always enjoyed him as an actor. And that's the Blu-ray. And then here is the DVD. It was a little bit loose in there, but it didn't move around, so we're pretty good on that. And there is some really nice... This is the way you do a steel book, guys. A lot of times in the U.S., we get kind of gypped on the interior artwork. It's usually just plain. There's nothing going on in the background. But if you're going to make a steel book and you're going to go all of, you know go all out with the steel book packaging, why not put something on the inside? That's what I say. So, gotta love steel books. So that is uh, what was it called again? It was called uh, Gods of Egypt. So that's going to be on my to watch pile. It's going to go towards the top of my to watch pile. The next one here is um, a little title that I've learned about on Facebook in one of the Facebook groups that uh, that I belong to. And this one is called The Alien Factor. And this is a limited edition, signed edition. It's on Amazon right now for $19.99. And it's limited to 1,000 pieces. And it's signed by one of the actors in the film called, uh, named George Stover. And you can see here, I don't know if you guys can read that. Limited edition of 1,000 copies signed by actor George Stover. And this is a film from 1978 directed by... Don Doler, and it's paying homage to the 1950s sci-fi. And I guess there's a lot of different, uh, you know, monsters in rubber costumes, stop motion. I think there's even an animated segment in the film from what I read about. And I figured, you know, for 1999, and it's all region, it's from Retro Media. I couldn't go wrong with this. I mean, and I have uh, free shipping on Amazon too. So I mean. This is a no-brainer for me. This is right up my alley, $19.99. The price was right. It's a limited edition. It's signed. Boom. In the collection. I recommend you guys pick that up. Go check that out. The Alien Factor. Um, the next two titles I got were from Arrow Video, and this is their latest um, installment here from the Arrow Video catalog, and this is called Return of the Killer Tomatoes. And this is a cheesy B film, a drive-in type film, uh, comedy horror. And this one also has George Clooney in it. And this is from the early 80s. Say 85. Yeah, 85. Again, I should have did a little more research. Um, it says, following on from the 1978 classic Attack of the Killer, Killer Tomatoes, this is Return of the Killer Tomatoes. I've never seen this one. I have seen Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, and I, that was way back in the VHS days. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing a date, so I'm going to keep moving. But we are going to open this and go through, and I'm going to show you guys the interior artwork. But I wanted to show you guys one thing. I, I noticed some of you guys fight with these releases from Arrow, trying to open them up. A lot of you guys don't realize that there's a little strip down here at the bottom, and it's just like a little a little pull tab where you just uh, you take your thumb and you pull the little string, the little tab there, and it comes right off, and boom. No fighting at all. There you go. Some of you guys are, are fighting, and I'm trying to scream through the screen to you guys. Open the goddamn... <laughs> no, it's not that serious. Just trying to help some of you guys out. Here you got the Blu-ray. 
it's region B. And you have the DVD, region 2. And then there you have the original artwork, which is pretty cool, like an animated style. And speaking of animated, I'm going to give two shout outs now while I'm thinking about it. A couple videos ago, I was asking you guys if you could kind of help me with an intro to my channel, and two guys stepped up to help me out. One was BiscuitBoo69, and he sent me a little clip via Facebook, and I really liked it. I have to try to get uh, some editing software so I can figure out how to kind of put that before my videos. I really enjoyed that. And the other guy who's going to be helping me out said he's going to make a animated segment to go before my videos. His name is Billy Pop, and he's got a lot on his plate right now. He's making a movie. He's been making YouTube videos, and not too many people are watching him. So I'm going to link these guys down below. Uh, I encourage you guys to please go check them out. Check out their channels. Subscribe them. Check out their videos. And let's keep this uh, YouTube thing strong and go check those guys out. And here is the booklet for Return of the Killer Tomatoes. You can see that George Clooney is in here as Matt. Maybe it's going to tell me what year this came out. I had to switch hands. My hand was getting a little cramped up. There's a young George Clooney there. Probably back in his early Roseanne days, right around that time. I'm not sure what year that was, but that almost looks like uh, John Aston. Is he in here too? I don't see him listed. Yeah, that is John Aston. He is listed in the. Uh, he's listed six in the uh, actors section there in the insert. There he is. That's definitely John Aston there. So that's pretty cool. So expect um, Scream Factory to probably put this out. That is the return of the Killer Tomatoes. I'm probably going to flip that cover. And let's keep moving on. The next one here is called Kill and Prey. And this is an upgrade for me. I do have the Kill and Prey DVD that was released by Wild East. But this is the Arrow edition of Kill and Prey. And it's called, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Is it uh, Requiescant? That's, I think that's what it's called in Great Britain. But here in the U.S. it's called Kill and Prey. That's, this is the original title right there. So... This one doesn't have that little strip at the bottom. It's more of like a, let's see here. I, I might have to bust out my little scissors. And this one here has been out for quite a while, but I decided to go ahead and grab it as an upgrade. The um, Wild East edition of Kill and Prey on DVD is going for crazy money now. I think I picked mine up for 25 bucks and it was it was sealed. But I've seen sellers on Amazon sell this DVD for like 70, 80 bucks, up to 100 bucks sometimes. So some of those people are crazy with their prices. This is the Blu-ray and it's A and B. And then this is the DVD. It's region 1 and 2. And then there's the original cover with the secondary title of the film. And here's a book that comes with it. Pretty nice sized book. Nice glossy photos and write-ups about the actors and the director. Some tidbits about the film. And I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, guys. I would have kind of wrap this one up. I do have some other stuff coming in the mail that I'm going to do a second video later this week. I got some stuff coming from 88 Video or uh, 88 Films, and I have some stuff coming from Code Red. So uh, I got a couple Best Buy steel books, and this was a recommendation from Blu ray Lantern. I watched one of his latest videos, and he picked up 10 Cloverfield Lane, and he said he watched this in the cinema. 
and then he went and picked up, I think he got two editions of this. He got the steel book and he also got the Amaray case with a slip, I believe. And he said this was a really good movie, so I went ahead and ordered this one. 10 Cloverfield Lane and this Best Buy um, steel book, which is exclusive to Best Buy, also comes with a HD copy of the original Cloverfield, which I also own that on Steelbook. And I got to be honest, guys, I a lot of people give Cloverfield praise. It's a found footage horror film, uh, alien style horror film. I did not really care for the film, and I, I tried it a couple different times. I own it. I watched it a couple di different times, but I just couldn't get into it. But I heard that um, John Goodman, who stars in this one, steals the show, and he's always kind of a He's a great actor. He's very versatile, and I heard that he plays kind of a creep, like a creep ball in here. And I, I definitely want to check him out. You can see he's kind of like a, uh, a no nonsense kind of a lunatic type guy, like a doomsday um, prepper, whatever they call those guys, where they make the um, the shelter underground in case there's some kind of nuclear war or aliens attack or whatever they make these shelters with all this water and food supplies and from what I hear I and I haven't watched the film yet but this is kind of one of those things where he's everybody thinks he's nuts and he's prepping for a disaster and then one happens so looking forward to checking that out this one here is a double dip for me I do have the um, it follows Amore case with slipcover which was a gift to me from one of my good buddies on here Jordan who was given up 96 I do like this movie this is a good movie and when I saw that they were coming out with this steel book I was a little bit late to the party on this one but I did grab it I'm not gonna open this one just yet I do have the blu-ray already which I watched so I might just keep this one sealed this is a nice anchor bay release right here and I think the steel book looks really good and it was pretty cheap on bestbuy.com I think for both of these they were under 20 bucks I think this was like uh, right around like $17.99 and this one might have been $15.99 something like that it was pretty close to that so I had to grab those and add those to the collection and then here's a movie called Drive and I gotta be honest guys I've never seen the, the movie but I watched one of Opie 0909's videos recently where he went over his entire Drive collection and this guy is a fanatic about this film and just watching him and listening to the video, I had to seek this movie out and pick it up. And I went on eBay to look for it. He had a really nice, Opie had a really nice uh, digi book that he got from the Czech Republic, I believe. Um, and I wanted to get that because I do love to collect digi books as well as steel books. But that was going for like, I think it was going like for like 40 bucks. I didn't really want to spend 40 on it because I've never seen the film. But I knew I had to pick it up because he suggested it. It was so high on his list. It was his favorite movie, and he has all this, all this swag for the film that I had to pick this up some way, somehow. Well, they had like, I don't know, 10 different steel books, it seems like, and they were all the way up to like 60 bucks. I picked this one up for, I think it was 20, and the seller said it was a Best Buy exclusive. I don't see any stickers on here, and you can, I don't want to slide it around too much, but one of the, one of the, or the disc is loose in here, so. I'm going to have to be really careful when I open this up. But this is the cheapest steelbook that was on the market. I picked it up, so thank you, Opie, for uh, the suggestion. I didn't, never really heard people talk about this before, but he said that Ryan Gosling is his favorite actor, and this is his favorite movie, so I had to go ahead and grab it. And I'm going to be watching this one very, very soon. So if you're watching Opie, salute to you, sir. I, I'm very new to Opie's channel, I think. I've been watching him now for less than a month. He's very new to the community. Well, as far as making videos, I think he's been he's been a viewer for quite a while from what it sounds like in his videos. But his channel has taken off, and he's really doing some good stuff. So I'm going to link him down below, too. You guys go check out Opie and check out his videos. I'm not exactly sure how many he has up, but it's probably like around 10 or less, I, I think. Um, and then you can sub to him and check out his newest stuff every time you upload something. So that is Drive. That's the steel book for Drive from Best Buy, I believe. And the last thing I got here, you guys may not be interested in this at all, but I live in Wisconsin and I live right on Lake Michigan. And I'm very fascinated by the shipwrecks and the tales of the shipwrecks on Lake Michigan. So I picked this up. It's a DVD-R 
from a company called Lake Fury, lakefury.com if anybody's interested. This came out in 2004. Um, I picked this up for 12 bucks, which seems like a lot for a DVD-R, but it's kind of hard to find this. You know, there's, it's not in high demand or anything like that. There's probably not many copies made. But if you're interested, go to lakefury.com, check it out. It's got over 60 minutes featuring 17 wrecks. It's right up my alley. This is kind of, uh, this is the kind of thing I pop in when I'm in chill mode trying to go to sleep. You know, I pop this in on the TV and just lay in bed and watch until I pass out. Um, this is this is perfect for me, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. So that is it, guys, for my pickups for this video. I'm going to link some people down below, so I want you guys to please go check them out. Let me know what you've picked up lately. Let me know if anybody has picked this one up, or if anybody has watched this, The Alien Factor. I do recommend grabbing that one. The price is right for that one. Other than that, let me know what, what's going on with you guys. Let me know what, uh, maybe give me some advice what I should pick up or what I should be looking for. Got to go over this stuff again really quick. Tell me if there's anything you guys recommend that I should go and seek out. But for now, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in a couple days. Take care.